Hi guys, Andy May here. So it is finally time to film all the products that I used up in 2016. Pretty excited to see all of it like laid out. It's pretty freaking crazy. The only thing I'm kind of upset about is I, when I was doing my makeup use up like totals, I was totaling all my beauty items and not just makeup so I will make sure that I do that this coming year so I don't have like a dollar amount really for all of this but I figured I'd go through everything let you guys see it and I can finally throw all of this crap out so I did use up quite a few face primers these are the only two full-sized and they were non cruelty free so happy to have them out I have three of the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer samples and one of the Lorac ones. I also have the Moisturizing Makeup for Everyone, That Gal, and the Professional by The Benefit. Um, I also had this Oola Lift, which I put over here in the primer because, I mean, that's basically what I used it for. And the Too Faced Hangover RX. I got a sample of it, which is about how much you get usually in one of these smaller samples. So I just kept my Sephora samples for whatever reason. I did finish two bottles of CoverGirl. Um, there is a little bit left in the bottom of these, but it's like solid. Even with me like moving them around and stuff, it never really moves up the jar. But there's two bottles of this out. I used up fully in its entirety the Infallible Pro Matte in 102. Um, love that foundation. Of course, I'm not repurchasing. I used up the Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation, and I used up a sample of the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. Um, I also had three Sephora samples. I had the Urban Decay Naked in 4.0, which I actually have the full size of now. And the Too Faced Born This Way in Warm Beige was way too orange for me. And then I got it in Natural Beige, which worked. And my husband got me that bottle for Christmas. So I also have a Maybelline BB Cream that I used up this year. Two of the Wet n Wild Tinted Moisturizers are gone. And two of these Marcel BB Creams. I really like these. Um... I would actually like to repurchase those. For powders, I used up a the loose powder that seemed to have lasted me forever by Maybelline and two of the pressed powders by Maybelline. I have one more by Maybelline that I'm finishing up now and it should be finished by the end of January, if not mid-January, but won't be repurchasing any of those, though I did like them. Then I have two samples by Bare Minerals. I have their Mineral Veil, which I wasn't a fan of, and their Original Foundation, which I'm not a fan of. And I thought I had two of these that I actually finished, but I can't find the other one, so there you go. For complexion type products, I did finish up the Tristique sample of their Cream Stick Blush and two ColourPop blushes. I used them up as much as I could, and then they kind of dried out on me, so part of this was used up, part of it was dried out, but I mean... I used as much as I could before it dried out. And then I have an e.l.f. duo that was a bronze and blush duo that I used up. Um, there was pan, I think, on both at the beginning of the year. And this one was in St. Lucia, right? Yes, St. Lucia. So I finished up a whole bronzer and blush. I finally finished off my hula sample. So glad that guy is out of there. And I finished up the Lightning Crew um, cream highlighter. So got those guys done. I did finish up, and I'm sorry if I sound like I'm breathing really heavy, my kids and husband finally got me full on sick, so I have the NYX brow pencil that I just recently finished up. Love this pencil. Would not repurchase for $10 though, considering the Elf one is only two and works just as good. The Essence Make Me Brow, I do already have a backup of this. I love this, and the Elf brow, like it's brow and clear like eyelash mascara but I use both ends for eyebrows it looks pretty gross I like this really no complaints about it um, for two bucks it works great but I would prefer to get the essence make me brow and then I've got the benefit what is this brow Val conditioning primer I got this it was the like free sample my husband ended up getting it but it was a free sample would not actually purchase that though it's pretty useless I have several samples of mascara that I went through this year. I have the Roller Lash. I think it's the one that I got for my birthday through Ulta. I like this mascara. Um, since trying other ones, though, I don't like it as much as others. The Neutrogena 
Healthy Volume Mascara was a sample, I think, in one of my Walmart boxes. And I think I used it two or three times. This was a super dry mascara. was not a fan of it at all. I have two of the Perversion by Urban Decay. The first sample I got of this, I guess, was dried out because I absolutely hated it. But then when I got a second sample, I gave it a chance and loved it. So I wouldn't repurchase for 20 something dollars, but it's a nice mascara and I don't mind getting free samples of it. Um, I have the Superhero by It Cosmetics. This was an okay mascara. It didn't like wow me or anything though. And then this one is by the Douce or Dusa, whatever. Um, don't like this one. This one's super, super dry. Same with these guys. These are all Mega Wear by Wet n Wild. Um, I got these from Dollar Tree and I bought three at once, which was kind of silly. It is a drier mascara, so you can only use this for a month before it's basically done and it starts flaking on you because it dries so much. It's not worth it to me to deal with that. I have two by Essence. I love them both like equally. This is the I Heart Extreme and this one is Get Big Lashes. I think I have another one of these already in my collection. I do want to try more of the Essence mascaras. I like their formula. I like how long these last and I don't have any issues with them. Um, I have the Max Volume Mascara by Wet n Wild. This came in one of my boxes. I'm not sure which one. It's an okay mascara. I liked it for about a month and then it started to cause problems. So, not the biggest fan, but it's okay. The Revlon All in One. I hate this. I actually bought it when it first came out earlier this year. And I don't like the wand. I don't like the applicator. I don't like the mascara. Like, nothing about this. I hate that mascara. And I usually don't hate them. I'm usually like, oh, they're okay, but I wouldn't repurchase. I hate that mascara. I didn't even finish using it. I used it for a month and then just got so tired of using it that I just quit. Um, one that I used to the last drop is the CoverGirl uh, Super Sizer. This one was really nice. I like the wand. I like everything about this one. And this was like, holy grail, my favorite of all time. It's the Rocket by Maybelline, but not cruelty free, so I won't repurchase. And that's all the mascaras. That's a lot. I have one concealer I used all the way, which was the one by Alme. It had like a salmon-y peach type corrector, pinky color corrector, and then a regular concealer. It was an okay concealer, nothing that I would repurchase. And then I have two Lorac behind the scenes eye primers, um, a Stay Don't Stray by Benefit sample, and the Avon eye primer. All okay primers. I think I have some more, I know I have some more of these in my um, collection that I'm going to use up. And then I have three setting sprays. Two are by e.l.f. and one by Wet n Wild. They're decent setting sprays. I just don't like the sprayer nozzle on them. So I actually buy this and then pour it into my Urban Decay ones because the sprayer on the Urban Decay bottles are great. But there's no point in paying for it when this works just as good. Um, I have this e.l.f. makeup lock and seal stuff. This is such a weird hot mess that I wouldn't recommend anybody purchasing. Then we have all the lip balms that I went through. I got these from Buying Coins. I don't even remember where I got the Chap Ice one, the Chapsticks, Aquafina, four Blistex ones, and then we have the colored lip balms. I got one by Blistex, Burt's Bees, the Bond Belt Lip Plushes, and this e.l.f. Um, SPF one. These were actually all in my Christmas Project pan, so I just finished most of these up, which was really pretty cool. I have two lip liners that I finished, which was Elf's Spice, and then the Makeup Forever, like, clear one, Lip Lock Perfector, or something like that. I have three moussey type ones. I have L'Oreal, Maybelline, and Revlon. I actually really loved the L'Oreal color, and I loved the Revlon one. Um, I liked the texture, but obviously can't repurchase. I have one liquid lipstick that I used up all the way, two regular like lipstick bullets, um, the birthday gift from Marc Jacobs, and Maybelline's Warm Me Up. Then I have Color Pops uh, Frida lippy stick that I finished up, and the two NARS pencils, crayons that you got last year for a birthday, um, Rakugian and Cruella. So finished those guys up. Pretty happy with how many lip products I ended up using up, even though, like, more than half of them were lip balms, but still, this is pretty amazing for me. I finally figured out how to constantly use them and reapply them and get myself in a habit so that I actually use the products up. So, next we have uh, 
eyeliners. I have three or two liquid, like traditional type liquid li liners, and then I have the Essence one that has a felt tip, and then this weird CoverGirl one. These were all okay. Um, if I were to repurchase one, I'd probably get the Essence because it's cheap, I can play with it, and I don't feel bad because I suck at liquid liner. <laughs> um, I have three auto liners. This one's by Color Mates, and this one's LA Colors. These both came from the Dollar Tree, and they were black browns. Would not repurchase them, they're kind of dry. And then I have the Marc Jacobs Blacker Highliner, the one you got for your birthday that I used up, so got that done. I have a little sample of their Real, the push-up liner, whatever. This was a hot mess. I don't think it helped that this sample packaging was crap. Um, I want to say this was the Avon liner in black, but I can't remember the liners like pushed into the cap. I'm pretty sure it was an Avon black liner, though. Then I had a Clinique purple one and a Maybelline black eyeliner. And actually, my eyeliner collection is now completely cruelty-free, which makes me super, super happy. I think all my lip products are completely cruelty-free now, too. And mascara. I don't know. I'm just working on making sure each section is cruelty-free. So next, we have all the eyeshadow stuff that I went through. I have the Tristique eye pencil. I have a Clinique chubby pencil. Three of these Maybelline Master Smoky ones. I actually use these as bases so that I could use them faster. I have two ColourPop ones. Um, I have Strength, which I actually used up in its entirety. And then I had Bravery, but it kind of dried up on me. I have Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Nude. No, just beige. Um, these things dry out a lot faster than what you think, so don't ever stock up on those. Just a forewarning. <laughs> I had an e.l.f. duo in Mocha Swirl or Pecan, oh it's on the back, Butter Pecan, yeah, that I used up and I had a little Maybelline quad that I used up and I did finish the Urban Decay Naked Basics, so pretty happy with that. That puts me at, what, 12 eyeshadows used up and I'm going to attempt painting a whole palette this year, so wish me luck on that one. And lastly, I have nail polishes. I have three, like, base coat, top coat type things. These two are from the Dollar Tree. I wouldn't recommend them. Miracle Dry, Super Dry. It's just a clear base coat type thing. The Diamond Flash by Sally Hansen is okay. And NCLA Nudes is such a gorgeous color. I miss having this one, honestly. This is my first, like, full bottle of polish I've ever, like, used up that I can recall. Um, I have three of these Sally or Salon Effects by Sally Hansen that were in these boxes, and then I have five of them that were in the, like, packages that I used up. I have three of the Essie ones. I don't prefer this brand for those. The and Coco ones are nice, too. Um, Sally Hansen ones are my favorite, but clearly can't repurchase those, and I think and Coco is cruelty-free. I'd have to double-check, but I've kind of strayed away. I've used up all of these. Excuse me, I hiccuped. Um, I've used up all of these and haven't like wanted to repurchase the little nail stickers. I love them because they're quick and easy, but I'm enjoying my polish right now. But these were nice. The Kiss ones, I despise. They were hard to work with. They didn't file off easily. Those are just a pain in the butt. And then I have one set of like fake nails that are the sassy and chic ones. Um, these have like palm trees and stuff on it, but. I am going to attempt a project polish next year, and I think, considering how many like nail appliques I was able to use, I should be able to pump through some bottles of polish, so we shall see on that. But there's everything. Um, I think it's pretty impressive, a lot. I'm excited to like throw all this crap away. Um, I do just keep it in this bin, like in my closet, so that I don't see it, otherwise it would bug me that I was keeping this much trash. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.